Okay, so I have one of these very annoying uh, fidget spinners here, and I've clamped it into this uh, little C-clamp here so that it'll spin. And I have a uh, little air hose here down to a, a pump. So we're gonna try to get it to spin really, really fast so it'll blow on here. And uh, I have it going then through this photo gate right here, and so it's going to actually measure um, the uh, frequency of how fast this thing's going around. It'll be in revolutions uh, per second, which is frequency. So that's hooked up over here to the computer right here, and uh, you'll be able to see there, we'll get a, a mean here eventually. It'll probably give us a maximum here also. So we're gonna try to spin this and see see how fast we can get it to go. So we'll turn on the, turn on the air. Frequency. It doesn't break and coming. Takes a while to get going. If you look down at where it's at, the mean is 35 and rising. Looks like we had a maximum in there of around 45. 46, I guess. Mean still going up. That's about 40. 40 rotations per second. And this figure spinner actually uh, doesn't have a very good ball bearing in it. It's the only one I could find at the time. I'm ordering some more that are supposed to be a lot faster. Maybe we'll do this video later and see what it is. So, mean is still going up. 42. I've done this earlier and it did max out up about 45 and a half. You get up to about 45 and a half, and if you're interested, that's about 2700 RPM. About 2,700 RPM for this particular fidget spinner, which is not that good. I did not buy this fidget spinner. I'm not going to spend any of my money on a fidget spinner. I 3D printed it and made the design this my own. Um, I'm just the prototype. I'm working on several others. If you're interested in how to make them, uh, you can go to Thingiverse.com. And uh, my username is Herman M. Put that in there, you'll be able to see and download your own uh, fidget spinners and uh, 3D print them out. Okay, so I've turned the lights off in the room. Uh, we have we're going about a frequency of 45 hertz, 45 rotations per second, about 2700 RPMs. And if we know the frequency, then what we could do is we could uh, turn on a strobe light approximately the same frequency, about 45 and a half hertz, we should be able to get this uh, fidget spinner to kind of freeze in place. So I have a uh, stroboscope here, a strobe light here that we're going to turn on. We'll see what we can get. And you see it's not a perfect match right now. The frequency is on about 40 and a half hertz. So I'm going to try to start turning this Try to get a little closer to 45 and a half. It looks like it's slowing down, see? And there we go. Looks like it stopped. It's not actually. It looks like it is. And we're at 45.6 or so, which is what we predicted. And that was our rotations per second. You kind of turn the frequency up a little bit. You can get it to, you know, you can go to go backwards. I can turn the frequency a little the other way and then go forward. Go backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. And again, if we can try to get the stop perfectly, we're about 45 and a half. There we go. Physics for fidget spinners.